Hi everybody, it's Marcy. Good Sunday morning to you. I wanted to stop by. Um, in my last video, I showed you the cover I had made for my November Dollar Store Christmas Junk Journal Challenge, which is being hosted by Dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon. I'm still working on the journal. It's starting to come together, but it's still in progress. But, I'm going to go ahead and start my second journal. And I'll explain why in a moment. But for my next journal, these are some of the goodies I've decided to use. And I'm concentrating primarily on the Buffalo Plaid uh, and the Cardinals. So what I've got. Let me back up a second. When I was shopping for the dollar store challenge, I was picking stuff up left and right and left and right. I've spent more money on $1 things than, yeah, just more money on $1 things than I should have. But, and unfortunately, I wasn't really paying attention to what I had ideas in my head, but the stores I was going to, many of our stores are just now really beginning to put good Christmas stuff out. So I'm, I've been kind of scrounging to come up with somewhat cohesive themes. Anyway, so for this one, I'm concentrating primarily on the Buffalo Plaid. So, I've got two, a set of two uh, gift bags. Don't know that I will use the Santa Claus one in this journal, but I will most likely use that. So, that's item one. Item two is another set of two gift bags, and they both, both of the images, as you can see, I've already started cutting stuff apart. But both of the images have some of the buffalo plaid in them. So I'll be using that. So that's item two. Then I found these fabric bags that I can cut apart and take apart. And they've got twine on them. So that's number three. I finally found some stickers. And this set has lots of the buffalo plaid. So that's, I'm already losing count. One, two, three, four. Uh, I've got some gift tissue. Primarily, I'll be using it for the words. Five. And I know y'all can keep count better than I can, but I'm also using this as a double check of how many items I've got. Uh... Item six is going to be this drawing pad. I think I've already started taking it apart. Uh, I think I'll be using this sort of as a base for my cover. So, but that'll be my main paper source. I also have some construction paper, and I may use a couple of sheets of that. Pull the red, and there's one or two sheets of black in there. I may pull out. There's some green I could use. And now I've lost count again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm up to seven. Then I found this tool skirt. And I wanted some tool. But when I saw this skirt, I just grabbed it because, okay, it got red tulle, but I've also got this white satiny ribbon and this white and red striped ribbon. So I figured for my purposes, this I, I can take this apart and do a lot more with it than I can with just a single roll of tulle. Now, what number was that? One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So this is eight. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Y'all don't laugh at me. I know there are people out there like me that can't remember anything for longer than two seconds. Okay, eight. Then I've got these stamps that our store finally got in. I may or may not use them. This is one of those things that I may use them on some paper edges, but it's also something that could go if I decide I don't need it. So that's nine. Got these buttons. Now, these buttons were a story unto themselves in that we were traveling to Kansas City to see my daughter and my son. And on the way, uh, we stopped in the town of Clinton and I said, ooh, there's a Dollar Tree. So I said, I want to see if they have anything different than our local ones do. So I went in, picked up a couple of things, and I saw buttons. I had never seen buttons at any Dollar Tree I've ever been to. So I picked those up and thought I might use them. See, now I told a story and I've forgotten my count again. Okay, that's 10. Got this burlap ribbon. You can see I've already used some off of it. But I'll probably pull that apart, use the burlap and the lace separately. So that's 11. Then I've got these two fabrics that I had picked up at Walmart. And as you can see, they were each $1.47, so I'm counting the two of those as three items. Uh, but I really want to use them, and I think they'll go great in this journal, so I'm going to count that as three items, which puts me up to 14. The 15th item, I haven't decided on yet. I'm just going to kind of leave that for a uh, later when I'm sitting there going, oh, I wish I had whatever, then I can use it. But part of the reason I wanted to go ahead and start this one before my first one was done is because the one thing that I have not found that I think would go well with this is a napkin. And in the mini challenge in the challenge number two, we get, get to use any one napkin plus five of our favorite things. So maybe uh, a rubber stamp, an ink pad. Uh, in mine, what did I use? I used, there it is. So I used a napkin. I used music paper because I love using music paper. Uh, I used lace. I used ink and stamp. And I used a button. So, the music paper, the lace, the stamp and ink, that's four, and the button was five. The, the string in the button was part of my binding thread, so that didn't count. And then the napkin was, that's the one I chose to use. So, I want to go ahead and complete that mini challenge since I hadn't found any dollar store napkins. But I've got this napkin that I think will be wonderful in this journal. So I want to go ahead and get the journal started so that I can complete the mini challenge so that I can have use of this napkin. Because once you complete the mini challenge in the challenge two, this nap the rest of this napkin becomes part of your kit. So I can use it on any other page. Okay, so that was a long roundabout way of telling you, but those are the items that, or 14 of the items that I plan to use in my next journal. Please let me know what you think, uh, or if you have any other ideas. This one's going to be another soft cover journal. Um, it probably, it will not have a lot of pages in it, I suspect, with the fabric and the tool and all that that I've got going on, and the buttons, 
it's going to become pretty chunky pretty quickly. So I'm going to have to be really cautious of that and be careful of how many pages I put into it. Anyway, let me know what you think and I will come back with an update on this journal as soon as I make a little progress. Bye-bye.